In the given problem, a solid hemisphere is suspended by a string at a point on its edge, as on the figure, in such a way that it touches but does not push the rough horizontal surface. So it touches but does not push. That means there is no normal reaction here. Normal reaction in this situation is zero. Find the minimum value of the coefficient of friction at which the hemisphere will not slip after burning the string. So before burning the string, if you make the free boy diagram, then there is no normal reaction here. The only forces are tension and mg passing through the center of mass. And center of mass for this uh, hemisphere is at a distance 3r by 8 from this center of curvature. The center of mass will be somewhere here. mg will pass through that point and tension. Tension and mg must balance each other. If I am drawing this, then center will be, center of mass will be somewhere here. Let's say this is the geometrical center or center of curvature. So this is the center of mass and this is the direction of mg. mg is acting like acting from this point and tension it will act like this tension and mg must be along the same line if these are not along the same line then there will be a net torque so net torque and net force must be zero for net force zero tension must be equal to mg for net torque zero tension and mg must be along the same line so that their torques are cancelled now when the string is burnt then tension will go and when tension will go it will try to rotate like this it will try to rotate in the clockwise direction and due to this rotation there will be some normal reaction from here and this normal reaction will pass through this center of curvature so this is the direction of normal reaction it will tend to slip like this so this point will tend to go in this direction so we will have a friction force and friction will act like this so there will be three forces normal friction and mg and it is given that it is not slipping friction is sufficient and we have to find the minimum value such that friction is sufficient for no slipping condition this is the center of mass and distance of center of mass from the center of curvature this distance is let's say this point is c and distance from o to c is 3r by 8 if radius is r <coughs> so equations we have to write will be one equation of torque and I am I will take torque about center of mass because I will need a moment of inertia and moment of inertia about this axis will be somewhat easier. This will act as instantaneous center of rotation. I can also write the equation of torque about this point as this point has zero acceleration at at this moment. There is no acceleration along this surface tangential acceleration and there is no centripetal acceleration of this point as velocity initially is zero. So this point has net acceleration zero at this point, net velocity is equal to zero. This is instantaneous center of rotation. But when I write torque about this torque about this point, then I will need moment of inertia about the axis passing from here. And calculating I from uh, along this axis can be tedious. So I will take torque about this point center of mass. So one equation is torque about center of mass is equal to I about center of mass into alpha. For calculating torque, I will need the distance of uh, the line of action of normal from this center. That means this distance and 
distance of line of action from this that means c to this distance this total distance let us mark the points as let's say this point is m and let us assume this point is p i am taking this angle as theta so this angle is also theta in this diagram if this angle is theta then this angle is 90 minus theta and this angle is theta so this distance as oc is known 3r by 8 so this distance will be this distance is c to m distance and this distance is 3r by 8 cos theta i will calculate theta later on let us first write the expressions cm is 3r by 8 cos theta and for calculating the torque of friction i will need this perpendicular distance and this perpendicular distance is equal to distance of m to p so mp is equal to for calculating mp this will be equal to op minus om and this op is equal to this is o to p this is radius r and this om will be since this is 3r by 8 this will be 3r by 8 sin theta so now the distances cm and mp in terms of radius and theta radius is known and theta is at this time this is unknown or we have to calculate the coefficient of friction as a numerical value so this may get cancelled out later on so we have to calculate theta somehow now taking torque for taking torque now we know the distances cm and mp now we should first calculate the moment of inertia about center of mass also we know the moment of inertia about this axis if this would have been a complete solid sphere then moment of inertia about this axis is 2 by 5 mr square but it is cut symmetrically this is solid hemisphere the moment of inertia about this axis will be still 2 by 5 mr square so moment of inertia about axis passing through o will be 2 by 5 mr square and from parallaxis theorem this would be equal to icm plus mass into distance distance will be 3r by 8 square so icm will be known from here 2 by 5 mr square minus m into 3r by 8 square so we can calculate the moment of inertia about center of mass talk about center of mass this is equal to the torque due to this normal torque due to normal will be in the clockwise direction and torque due to friction will be in the anti clockwise direction and i am assuming the angular acceleration is alpha in the clockwise direction so torque due to normal normal multiplied by the distance c to m it will be 3 r by 8 cos theta minus friction multiplied by distance so this distance r into 1 minus 3 by 8 sin theta and put this equal to icm into alpha now we have uh, three variables here one variable is friction normal and alpha normal friction and alpha normal and friction can be related you have to find the minimum value of the coefficient of friction so calculating minimum value for new minimum calculation we will take f as f limiting and this f limiting will be equal to mu n so we can use this for friction and normal reaction f is equal to mu n now we have to write some equations for force is equal to mass into acceleration and acceleration we have to take of center of mass as i have said earlier that this body 
for this body we can take p as this p will be instantaneous center rotation let us join p and c acceleration of center of mass can be written as alpha into r and r will be let's say distance from p to c and this is the acceleration of center of mass this is acm and this will be alpha into r if this is instantaneous center of rotation and point p has no acceleration at this moment so acm we can return we can write acm is alpha into r now i will write uh, nlm equations newton's laws of motion equation in horizontal and vertical direction so we have to take the components of acceleration center of mass in the horizontal and vertical direction so now i am taking the component of acceleration of center of mass in the two directions so component of acceleration of center of mass one component is this this is let's say i'm i'm taking this angle as phi so this complete angle is phi so this will be alpha r cos phi this is the horizontal acceleration of center of mass and vertical acceleration of center of mass it will be alpha r sin phi this is the vertical acceleration of center of mass this angle is phi this angle is phi so this angle is 90 minus phi and again this angle is phi and this angle is also phi this geometrical relations we will use later on now net force is equal to mass into acceleration center of mass i am using this equation and first i am using this equation along horizontal along horizontal the only force is friction so this friction will be mass into acceleration so this is alpha r cos phi vertical in vertical we have two forces mg and normal reaction so this will be mg minus normal reaction this is equal to mass and acceleration this now one equation will be this second equation is this this is third equation and this is fourth equation and let us review the number of variables the one variable let us say n f mu n f mu and alpha so we have total four equations and we can solve from this four equations but the hurdle is we don't know phi we don't know r we don't know theta let us first calculate this so i am going to calculate the distances and angles we have used in this expressions we have used theta we have used phi we have used the distance r so first we have to calculate all these distances to put into this so i am calculating this this distances now separately so in the diagram now you can see this angle is theta you can see that this distance is obviously equal to r and this distance is 3r by 8 so from this triangle tan theta is equal to so i am using this triangle and in this triangle this is obviously perpendicular because it is drawn like this so tan theta is equal to 3 r by 8 divided by r so tan theta is 
3 by 8 so from this theta can be calculated so theta is now calculated now I am coming to distance r this distance can be calculated using Pythagoras theorem this is square the distance mp square plus this distance cm square so distance r square is distance cm square plus distance mp square and cm is equal to so this distance we have already written this distance it is 3 r by 8 cos theta square and this mp we have written already 3 r by 8 sin theta square and we know the value of theta tan theta is known if we calculate this distance will become out as 0 0.935 r so a small r is calculated now now we have to calculate the angle phi phi is the angle made by the acceleration of center of mass with horizontal this angle was phi this was 90 minus phi again this was phi and this angle is also phi we can calculate phi from this triangle you can use this triangle and in this triangle i'm using triangle mpc so for triangle i'm using triangle mpc so from triangle mpc we can write 10 phi again i'm using 10 phi and this 10 phi is equal to cm divided by mp and the distance cm is equal to 3 r by 8 cos theta and the distance mp is equal to 1 minus 3 by 8 sin theta r will get cancelled and we can calculate 10 phi as 0 0.404 so phi is also known from here we can put all these values and we have to calculate we have to solve these uh, equations 1 2 3 and 4 and after solving all these equations and doing all this geometry we can finally find the answer of mu and mu will come out as it is approximately 0 0.301 so this is the final answer to this problem.